From old blocky PCs to sleek laptops, computers have come a long way in a relatively short time. And as they've become faster and better, the cost has dropped significantly, making them cheaper, making them nearly disposable. Then we moved into this like throw it away society and it you know, drives me nuts. There's always good things being thrown in the trash. And at the top of the heap, computers. Nearly 27,000 have been deemed broken, outdated, or no longer usable by various temple departments since 2003. But there is one department that can bring those computers back to life. Well, what we're looking at basically is a triage area. And Jonathan Lacko is the doctor on call at the Computer Recycling Center at Temple University. He helped create the CRC six years ago. And back then, the solution to a slow or aging computer was to throw it away in the trash to avoid paying any pickup fees. Today, the two-person staff and group of student workers diagnose whatever problems plague university computers and anything else electronic to get it back in circulation and avoid e-waste. The primary goal is to get this out of the, its current location, out of storage, um, out of the department who you know, doesn't have use for it anymore, and then evaluate it, get the information off of it, you know, uh, sort of anonymize it to get it away from Temple. Like, it, you know, get all Temple's research, our health student records, anything that is going to mitigate our risk, uh, and, and then make it like an you know, out-of-box computer again. The machines are put through the paces, every part thoroughly inspected and tested. Most return refurbished to the university. Others are sold online to faculty, staff, and students. And some are donated to nonprofits, like the neighboring Norris Homes Community Center. Had they not recycled these computers, we might not have this up and running computer room like we do. But Lisa Gass and her fellow residents now enjoy using the 10 donated computers from the CRC almost daily. It's a small statement, but it means a lot that one man's trash is another man's treasure. So always think twice before you throw something out because it might be somebody who's a little needier than the next person that might be able to use it. And as for those computers that can't be salvaged, they end up in the crusher. It destroys the hard drive, it bends it in half. It's a compressor, basically punches a hole in it, bends the platters, makes the, uh, the hard drive inoperable, and nobody will be able to spin the platters to get their information off. Uh, so that's it. One of the, the real key um, problems with throwing something in a landfill, somebody could pick that computer up and pull the data off of it and use it, and who knows how they're using it. Tim O'Rourke also understands there's a bigger threat than personal information getting out of computers. They contain the chemicals lead and mercury. So his department adds a $50 fee to the cost of a computer right up front, money that funds the CRC and its recycling efforts. Now, when, it, when a computer is at the end of its life or somebody uh, wants to dispose of it, they call us up and tell us. and We come and pick it up. We don't charge them at that point in time. Um, so there is an incentive for people to get rid of their computers in a proper manner. And the federal government is paying attention. The Environmental Protection Agency honored the CRC for its program, one that saves Temple money by extending the life of computers, keeps e-waste down, and offers an inexpensive way to get a second computer, or even in some cases, a first.